Today's video is sponsored by Pickers Grip. Stop dropped picks and pick rotation while playing with Pickers Grip. Made with all natural ingredients in Virginia. Check out their website to order. When you support my sponsor, this also supports my channel and it's very much appreciated. A guitar player is called a guitarist. A bass player is called a bassist. A percussion player is called a percussionist. A keyboard player is called a keyboardist. A saxophone player is a saxist, a bassoon player is a bassoonist, a violin player is a violinist, a cello player is a cellist, a tuba player is a tubist. Why is a flute player called a flautist? After watching that uber informative intro having absolutely nothing to do with this video, this is the Boss Blues Driver. Do not let the name of this pedal fool you. This could very well be the most versatile drive pedal on the planet, and it sounds fantastic. I've always liked this pedal. I've actually never owned one. Uh, and uh, so finally, I decided to buy one for myself. I just bought this brand new with my own money. And despite the fact that this is regarded as a Boss Classic, you just don't seem to hear too many people talk about it too much these days. So I thought that I would do it justice and put it through the paces here on my channel and show you, my wonderful viewers, just exactly how versatile this pedal really is. So what you're going to see in this video is three different examples of three different full tracks, uh, of three different genres. Uh, the first track that you are going to see in here is going to be a blues track. Short disclaimer, if you've watched any more than about 2 minutes and 36 seconds of this channel, you know that I am not a blues player. So, you know, be, be gentle. You know, regardless how terrible of a blues player I might be, this is a blues track that I came up with. Uh, this is using the blues driver as an overdrive, kind of similar to how a lot of people use the Tube Screamer, uh, with the level turned all the way up the two, the, uh, and the gain turned all the way down. Uh, and the amp on the clean setting with the gain turned up just barely on the edge breakup. So, check this out. This next example is a short rock track that I came up with. Uh, this is using the blues driver more as a distortion pedal rather than a rather than an overdrive pedal. This is running into a clean channel of uh, my Laney IRT Studio. Uh, the gain and tone controls, uh, actually all three controls are are uh, you know pretty moderate are set pretty moderate. Most of them are right around the uh, 10, 11 o'clock mark, uh, and I did bump everything up. Uh, bump the gain up to about one o'clock or so for the solo.
And last but not least, this pedal is also a killer metal distortion, uh, which is something that not a lot of people use this for and not a lot of people think to use the blues driver for. Here I turned the gain all the way up to about 3 o'clock uh, and set the tone to around 11 o'clock. And uh, then for the lead guitar parts, I basically dimed the gain and uh, turned the treble back up to around 1 o'clock, add a little bit more bite for the, for the uh, solo. So there you have it. Here is a little $99 stomp box that everybody has seen everywhere that can literally do it all. And a lot of people don't realize that it can do it all. Now, if you have watched this channel for any more than, again, about 2 minutes and 36 seconds, you probably are already aware that I am a huge, huge fan of Boss, of, uh, boss Pedals, Stomp Boxes, uh, Boss Roller products, really. Uh, you know, I, I love the company. I love the brand. I love, I love the products. I love just about every product that they've ever made. Uh, you know, I have never been let down by a Boss or a Roland product. You know, they're just, just a top-notch organization. You know, so I wanted to put this video together for you and, uh, you know, show some maybe some different ways to use the Boss Blues Driver and some methods that maybe a lot, not a lot of people have considered, uh, specifically the methods that I did so here for you today. Uh, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I will post links to the Boss Blues Driver and any other pertinent links, uh, of course, down in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Also, don't forget to do the likey, sharey, subscribey thing. And adios. See you later. We'll see you in the next video.